Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my thought, but act like an enemy. I make a car and turn you to cannon. Not wasting my time, not wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. Didn't average as many points as he has without hard. He will be able to. The pick and roll is going to be a big part of this coming for the big man. We're going to see a lot of this. Here it is. P.J. Tucker up. Anadokounmpo behind the defense. He's Last night, the Milwaukee Bucks went up against the Portland Trailblazers, the young Portland Trailblazers, with Scoot Henderson, Jeremy Grant, Shaden Sharp, and DeAndre Aiden Company. And the Portland Trailblazers surprised them, getting out to a 26-point lead earlier in the game. But... The Milwaukee Bucks, led by Giannis and Dane, led the team back and led them to a victory. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about, I was right about the Milwaukee Bucks. They are dominant. What's good, y'all? It's Rubo Will. We're back again with another video. Now, I'm going to tell y'all the good and the bad with the Milwaukee Bucks. Let's start with the good. The good is... Obviously, you got Giannis and Dame. That combo is just, it, it is, it is worse, right? Here's how it works. Pick and roll action. You've seen it in the first clip. Pick and roll action is literally on guard move between them two. What they had to do is kind of switch that. Like, the defense got to switch it off. But the, the thing with them switching it off, Malik Beasley's open in the corner. Brooke Lopez, who's been hooping, is open in the top of the key. Pat Connaughton's open at, at the other corner. You got other, other shooters on the team, and they didn't have Chris Middleton out that was out with an injury. And that's the key with this team. If Chris Middleton can get back to playing kind of like that all-star level, this team will be really unbeatable. It's going to be literally Boston and Milwaukee in the East, which I still think is going to be in either way. But if Chris Middleton, right now I feel like Chris Middleton is still trying to find his way. He's dealing with an injury right now. If he tries to find his way, to get back to somehow that all-star level, this team, Scott's good with his team. Then we got Giannis playing at an MVP kind of level. We know what he brings to the table. Dame has really been picking up lately. Been averaging over 28 points the last couple of games. And Malik Beasley has really came on for this team. I mean, especially in this game. He knocked down, what, four or five threes? He's been hooping. Now, the bad thing about the Milwaukee Bucks. Their perimeter defense, they ain't got none. I'm watching the games, and I'm like, you leaving Scoot Henderson open for three, he's knocking it down. You're leaving Jeremy Grant open for three, he's knocking it down. And then when they try to crowd the perimeter, they get eat the, the defenders, they get the opponents, they get easy buckets at the, at the basket. They get easy buckets at the basket. So that's been their problem, I feel like. That's most of their five losses. It's their perimeter defense. And when they try to crowd the perimeter, it's easy layups at the basket. So they had to try to find another way to fit that. Maybe get another three D player to really, you know, crowd the perimeter. Yeah, I know Jay Crowder's been he's he got injured, unfortunately, but they gotta find some way to fit that perimeter defense. That's been a problem for them all season. It looks like it. Especially last night. Another thing. I feel like this it's like they kind of lazy on defense, but it comes with the perimeter defense, really. But other than that, I feel like another thing is really their injuries. That's that can come out with the game. I think if everybody can stay on the court, you know, we got Chris Middleton that's been out. We got Jay Crowder has been out. Dame and Giannis been playing, but it's, it's been Dame sometimes on and off, been off. On the court and off the court. He's been playing for the most part, but some, early in the season, he wasn't really playing like that. Once Dame and Giannis really figured it out, really figured it out, they're already a problem. They are going to be lethal offensively. Lethal. Dame's been hooping, but he hasn't been hooping like the Dame when he dropping 40 plus and consecutive games in Portland, when he's playing on Portland because he's trying to find his way on Milwaukee. I feel like he's ha he's like 65% ways of finding his way on this team. He's trying to find the best way he can play with Giannis. He's trying to find the best way he can facilitate the ball when open three-pointers three points are open. Brooke Lopez has been killing it. And the coach is trying to find his way to really 
give the chemistry going even more with this team. You feel me? So, Milwaukee has been doing their thing. But there are some concerns. And the concerns, I, I, I pan it out to y'all. But other than that, Milwaukee, keep going. Y'all just over y'all just overcame a 26 point deficit last night. Now it's versus, versus the Portland Trailblazers. We y'all should have came back. Y'all shouldn't even let that happen. But I, like I said, the perimeter defense wasn't there. And they got a lot of y'all a lot of young players on that team. That that's another thing with Milwaukee. They are kind of slow. Kinda. They're kind of they're not fat. They that they will get exposed de defensively when it comes to speed too. So that's that's concerns that Boston has an edge over Milwaukee right now. But once Dame gets it going, going, because Giannis is already doing his thing, and the pick and roll action keeps working, Milwaukee is going to be East Carps Finals, maybe, between them and Boston. Even though we got Miami playing, Miami balling out at their mind right now. Miami's doing their thing. But the problem with Miami is how are they going to stop Dang, they've been doing a great job in Giannis in the playoffs a couple times. But now you got Damian Lillard on your team. Giannis don't have to bring the ball for. It, it's just be Dame and Giannis be in the paint. And that's been working. And then it's been pick and roll. So like, how is Miami going to switch that off? We will see, man. I, I, I like what I'm seeing from Milwaukee. They got some improvements, but they're going to get going. They're going to keep striving and... Sky's limit for this team. I think they're the best duo in the league. You know, you got MB and Tyrese Maxey been balling. You got LeBron and AD, obviously. Shoot. Uh, Paolo and French White. I know that's not a duo, but Orlando's been really killing it, too. So we got a lot of great teams in the league, but Milwaukee, they, they come out. Tatum and Brown, excuse me, obviously. But yeah, man. That's going to do for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give, you give your ball a like. Subscribe to your channel if you're new. Give me a 2 4 to subscribers. Give me to 1,000 subscribers before the end of this year's over. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. It's being Bo Will, and I'm out.